to show you the six gallon tall. An 18 month update. I'm gonna take you back to the beginning, show you how I started the tank. Very sturdy, it's not gonna move anywhere. What I did, and my chato was very slow to start growing. How I maintained the success of this tank and all that good stuff. So let's get right into it. Yeah, come on. I was scrolling through my videos and I noticed this was one of the first ones I did. This was end of March, 2020. My goal with this tank was to create something that was a little different. I didn't want to do your basic rectangular or cube aquarium and I was a little light on funds. I didn't want to spend a lot. I found these computer monitor stands. They were seven bucks a piece. And I thought, wouldn't it be kind of cool to do a tall, narrow aquarium? flat back glass has stabilized the height so it really worked out well that's very sturdy and it's not going to move anywhere originally it was 22 inches high by 8 inches wide and it was experimental for me you can see that I've been successful with it did first was I got my live rock from Fish Guy Mike. Fish Guy Mike is a local guy who runs all his stuff out of his garage. It's really cool. I've done videos on him. So that's where I get a lot of my stuff. From that point, I wanted to go slow. I wanted to try to eliminate as many problems as I could. When I got the live rock, I wasn't gonna start the tank right away. So I put it in a container and I put a little light on it and an air bubbler. So those of you who are new to the hobby, this was live rock, so I didn't have to go through any cycling period. The reason why I put light over it is because I wanted to see what might grow up from it and try to eliminate that before I started the tank, especially Aptasia. And I mentioned this in the video when I did this. All right, the next step was building the tank. was fun. I had never really made one before. I took my computer monitor shelves and I got started. Next step was the aquascape and purchase some Marco rock. I had live rock and Marco rock and I put that together. The E. Marco cement was great stuff. It really held the rocks together. You can see I just dropped it down inside and you can also see how it's freestanding there. It's not leaning up against the back of the tank. So that whole process went really well. So when I put the live rock together with the Marco rock, there was already an established bacteria culture in there. I just wanted to give it more time. So from the time I put it in the main tank, I also let that go a few more weeks too. I tested ammonia nitrite. I got zero readings on that. Now let's talk about the equipment I have on the tank. Damn. Come on. How come I can't? What's going on with this? Early on in the tank history, I tried a hang off the back refugium. I thought I would have some nitrate issues and phosphate possibly in five gallons. So I thought I'd give that a try. I didn't see the HOB refugium doing too much. I really didn't give it enough time, but my nitrates were low anyway. And my chato was very slow to start growing. So I gave it about two months and I thought, not necessary to have 
a refugium in a five gallon. As long as I keep my water change schedule up, I shouldn't have any issues, and I haven't since I took it off. This is where I found out about the mini wave maker. It was one of the first wave makers that I found for a small aquarium, and it's been really good for this tank. CJ Nano pump in there. All you need in a small tank is enough to turn the water over, especially in this tank with the mini wave maker in there. Then I took a closer look at what the Skim 350 was doing. It was doing okay, but it was taking up a lot of room in the tank. I needed to clean it a lot. It would clog every so often. I thought, well, what would be the next best thing? And then I added the overflow box. That really helped the tank. The overflow box would allow me to get rid of the Skim 350, my protein skimmer, which I did away with anyway, and create great gas exchange over the tank into this compartment. May be ready to start a new tank, guys. Looking around, 60 gallon, start putting some of these things that won't fit into the new tank. In the beginning, I also had a reef glass skimmer. As time went by, I realized I didn't need that either. So you can see how much I could remove by putting the overflow box in. No more heater, none of that stuff had to stay in there. For lighting, I chose the Kessel A80. It's a great light for five to 10 gallons, and you can see that I've set my color and intensity at these settings here. It's got a great shimmer, and also has a great blue value setting to the light. It's compact and fit right within the tank's top, and these are my new settings for it. Of course, we have to add the fish and the coral. Early on in the tank history, I just added the three fish, the rock flowers, and a few corals that I had from my other tanks. Over time, I added more and more, and most of my coral all started from small fragments. Success for me, guys, is does it look really nice? Are things growing? Are things not dying? That's success for me, and if I had to say, that tank has been really extremely successful. Thank you.